everyone, Mango Seven Roll here. How are we doing today? Uh, so for those of you who don't know, welcome to an Epic Seven video. Yesterday on stream, I said I would buy a pack if they got through the day without emergency maintenance. And um, 28 minutes left. Jeez, I'm so bad. And I didn't go the full 24 hours. And I was like, okay, okay, it's been six hours. They've got this. Um, I'll buy a pack for this amazing pack and or amazing patch and for them not having maintenance and sure enough I buy the pack and then like an hour later there's like five hours of extended maintenance and rip my money but oh well I'm super glad supporting um, and for those of you who don't know we got a lot of stuff from that maintenance last night it was in the middle of the night too which is the perfect time for it and I just want to show you guys what we're getting and there's also only a small amount of time to get this stuff so please make sure you get it. So all the things we get here, we get 80 stamina, um, two lab tokens, 120 stamina, two leaves. I can accept this one, 10 covenant summons, um, a souvenir from Queen Azumashik's coronation contains one of the following items, Mulagorasi, gold transmit stone, galaxy bookmark, covenant bookmarks. Oh my god, please don't get 200 gold. Please get like anything but the 200k. Gold Transmit Stone, that is pretty, pretty sweet. Um, Epic Ring Charm. Also, that means I can do a Moonlight Summon in about an hour on stream. That's enough for a Moonlight. Hype on that. We also get an Epic Ring Charm. We also get an Epic Necklace Charm. We also get an Epic Artifact Charm. We also get an Epic Artifact Charm. We also get this Tier 5 as a Manus's Fighter Armor. I'm not sure if this is... um. Ooh, that says speed set too. I'm not sure if that's the same for everybody. Um, after the all coronation souvenirs, yeah, I don't even know what that says, don't care. Um, we get another set there that was counter set, which is a set I really wanna get made up for my Araminta. So I'm really excited for that and I hope that's good. We're also getting um, old locks. We're also getting 120 more stamina. One of those, and Alexa, that's really funny. Alexa is giving us a small sun badge. Like, that's that's just really funny to me. And we're also getting an Ericon, Ericion Carapace. Carapace, that's insane. So what a cool thing to wake up to do today. But make sure you get it ASAP, because it's only out for like half an hour, or not half an hour, like 24 hours or something like that. So let's get on to the actual subject of the day. Um, we're going to give you guys my daily summon. I usually give my daily summon to Twitch, so let's do that first. I know you guys want to see this. Um, don't really care what I get. I would love um, anything. I would love haste, but I will take a three-star artifact instead. Three-star character. Um, there's none I really want, uh, to be honest, at this point. Hazel. That's actually one I'm okay with because of her specialty coming soon, and I don't have enough to MLB her. So pretty stoked about that. That's actually the best thing I could have gotten. I totally forgot I needed those. Um, anyways, let's go into what we're actually here to talk about today, and that is buffs, nerfs, and why they're good. So for those of you who don't know, yesterday they did a huge nerf towards um, the Holy Trinity, they call them. They also... Um, gave us the best feature I've ever seen in any gacha game. This is this is two of the best features I've ever seen in any gacha games. Um, not even two of the best, the two best features I've ever seen in a gacha game, both in one game. One of them is the rerolls at 110, that was amazing, and two of them is this thing we're about to talk about now, which is the recall system. So for those of you who didn't follow the patch yesterday, we're getting the recall system, and what you do is you just hit this recall button here, and you get everything back. So we get all the phantasms, we get the gold we spent, we get all the awakening materials. Everything you spent on that unit will get returned. Every last thing, it is bonkersly amazing. And the reason why they did this is because they nerfed a bunch of characters. And I just want to talk about why nerfing is a good thing. Um, if you've played Summoner's War, uh, in the comments below, yell at me for saying Summoner's War as always. Then you'll know Buffs and nerfs were like the most exciting parts of the patch because it keeps the game super, super fresh. Like everything changes, it's all fun. You get to switch around your units, you get to try new things and you're not pigeonholed into the same units every time. There's um, two ways I think nerfs are a really respectable place and a respectable thing to do. One of them is when they um, just take over something. Like when, one's, when something is so good that they just super take over something, whether it's PvE or PvP. 
And uh, a good example of this is the Holy Trinity, which is Elson, Rickeris, and Tieria. Them together basically made the entire game easy mode. It made you be able to do things I can't do with half my gear. So um, that's not cool, and that's something that needs to be fixed, especially when it's gated behind a three-star Moonlight Summon. Um, I'm really glad they did something about that. And next up is when something just becomes really oppressive and unfun. So a good example of this would be something maybe like ML Ken, if ML Ken was like a four-star or a three-star um, normal side unit, something that just would make things super unfun for people. Um, that's another really good reason to do it. And if you have to base your entirety of your team around that unit, whether it's to face it or to use it, that's another way um, for buffs to be, uh, or nerfs to be had. So let's talk about the Holy Trinity. First off, Elson had his cooldown changed from four turns to six turns, I think. Um, either way, increased by two turns. I think that's a fair change. He's a three star, everybody gets him, and I think he's still fantastic as it is now. You just have to be smarter about when you use your defense buff. Um, overall, I'm going to try not to use him just because I didn't like him too much in the first place, so I, I don't really want to be forced to use him. The next one is um, ba -ba -ba, Rickerus. I don't have Rickerus. Everybody, he is saying he is completely trash, and I don't believe that. That's another thing I want to get through to you guys. Don't follow the, the mindset of everybody else. If you see somebody say X is trash, Y is trash, don't believe them. Think for yourself and try to figure it out yourself. A good example of this is Destina. People are saying Destina is trash now. She really isn't. She's still fantastic. Um, Angelica might be better, but she is still absolutely fantastic and absolutely amazing still. So just like keep those things in mind. Um, so I don't know what to say about Rickerus. I don't have him. I didn't see it before. I know he's obviously not as good now, but I think he's still with his minus one cooldown is still in a great place. And the more units come out with different abilities that want to be reduced cooldown, the better he is. The third one is Tiaria. And Tiaria is one I have the most information about since I actively used Tiaria a lot. So Tiaria um, is the one that I really want to talk about today if I can ever find her. Um... Tiaria was basically the best unit in the game all around before this change, I think anyway. There really wasn't anybody better. Um, she did literally everything and she was the best at everything. Um, granted, Rickerus might have been the cornerstone of the Trinity, but Tiaria was just all around insane literally everywhere. So I think it's fantastic that she got nerfed. Before I was forced in quotes to use her everywhere. It didn't matter if it was pure water, I was using her, she was the best I could get for that slot. There was absolutely nothing I could get that was better, and this is for every single person in the game, I would say. There really wasn't a place where you would not want to use Tiaria. Um, so let me start out by saying I recalled my Tiaria, and I regret doing it a lot. I miss my Tiaria already, and um, even with her changes, I still think she's great. So. Let's go over what she did. Uh, first off, they took away her defense break on her skill 3, which was her most important thing she had, I think. Um, they also made it so her combat readiness does not affect herself. And they also made it so they dropped her base speed from something like 108 or something, maybe even higher, to 96, which is a huge hit, but is still fine. Um, they also buffed her damage. So her third damage is based off of um, target's max HP, I think, which does a huge amount of damage to them. And um, I think she's still great right now. Uh, combat readiness is the most broken thing in the game. There really is like no better boost than combat readiness. And we can see that with Tiaria. We can see that with Verta Heal in Summoner's War. Again, in the comments below, yell at me for saying Summoner's War. Um, and they have to do this or else she's going to be everywhere. There is no way you can give somebody like Tiaria a defense break and not have her in every team ever. Um, you could you could nerf her base speed to like 50. You could um, take away all of her damage just so that she does like defense break, um, attack boost, and nothing else. And she'd probably still get used for that just because she fills that role so well. Um, the other thing that uh, I think is fantastic about her now is um, she's not a shoe in everywhere. I don't have to use her everywhere, but she is still great. She does a ton of damage, actually. She can chunk bosses really hard, and if you build her speed and an attack now instead of speed and defense, she does a ton, a ton, a ton of damage, and I think she's fantastic still. And especially this early in the game, there really is no better memory imprint. You're not going to get a better memory imprint than um, her speed right now, and that alone is almost enough to use her. So... Everybody is saying she's trash and dead now, and I really disagree with that um, really badly. I did recall her again, but I, I wish I didn't, and I wish I could use her right now. 
So a couple other things to note too is um, right now, we don't really have enough to fully equip four people unless you're further advanced than me. We have enough to really make one or two units super nuts and maybe one healer okay, um, but we don't really have enough to build three DPS right now, in my opinion. And that's why somebody like a combat readiness booster is so good, because you can focus on your two units, give your combat readiness booster um, not the best gear, but fast gear, and that's all that matters. And um, your other two people that are geared well get more turns and you um, get exponentially better because of it. Uh, that's one of the reasons why I miss her right now, just because of that combat readiness boost. And a lot of people ask for replacements for Terria, and I really don't want you guys to think of that. I don't want you guys to think you have four units and that's it for the entire game. Um, the way I'm handling it right now is I'm trying to get a bunch of different people. Um, my core that I love using are Angelica, Araminta, and Yuna. I love using them everywhere. And I like my fourth slot to be variable. So I'm trying Lorena, but I don't have good enough gear for a third DPS. I'm trying Clurry because she uses defensive gear, something nobody else uses, and it's working great right now. I six starter, her, but not perfect yet. Um, I'm also trying Dien, but I didn't five or I didn't six star her yet, and I don't have um two really good healer style gears. And I've also tried a couple other things like Euphine. I've tried, um, or I haven't tried Euphine, but I have it as an option. I've also tried Cecilia and it didn't work out as well as I'd like. There's a ton of things I've tried. Um, but again, if you do want, I'll get shot if I don't mention this, um, maybe from him himself. If you do want a direct replacement for Tiaria, Shuri is probably your best bet right now. And that's because, um, he does basically the same thing. He's very much like Vertiheal in Summoner's War. In the comments below, yell at me for that. Um, and he just increases your attack bar. You need pretty much 100% crit on him for him to be effectiveness. He's got a really cool character too. And honestly, I think he was fantastic before um, Tiaria got nerfed. But he's just excelling now because... Um, there's no Tiaria to be better than him. So I think he's a fantastic option to six star now. A lot of people are praising him. I haven't done it yet and I probably will in the future, but um, overall I love his design and his kit is fantastic as a, a replacement for Tiaria. And one thing I want to say about him on my team is, let's say I have this team. So this team has Yuna, it has Tuna, it has Shuri, it has Clurry, and it has Flurry. And I don't know, I think that's the coolest thing ever. Like, do you not want a team with Clurry, Flurry, Shuri, Yuna, and Tuna? Oh my god, that's like the best theme team you've ever seen in your life. Um, I, I don't think I can fit Araminta in that rhyming anyway, but um, Shuri, Flurry, Shuri, Flurry, Clurry, Yuna, and Tuna are good enough for me. Um, anyways... That's about all I wanted to talk about today. I will keep you guys updated with my progress and feel free to check us out on the stream with um, how I'm doing with this raid, how things are going, and any questions you have, feel free to ask me there. And if you have any requests for anything to cover on this patch, please let me know in the description below and I will try to do my best to cover it. I apologize for not doing straight to the point guides as much anymore. But I've got so much going on IRL, um, it's hard for me to get something set in stone. So instead, I'm just ranting and raving and talking to you guys. So I hope you can forgive me for this, and I'll get back to guides soon enough, I promise. So have a wonderful day, everybody. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!